Please don't do it. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Let's Knit Together. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. So, this episode of Let's Knit Together is dedicated to that beautiful man because we're gonna make him a sweater for his birthday. So I'm trying to get him as involved in the process as much as involved as I can. So dear, this part that I need your help with. It's busy spider has gone to sleep, so should you. Oh my god. It's bedtime. So I'm doing this like right before we go to bed. No, it's a busy spider right now. Okay, come here, babe. I'm explaining to my son about the nighttime and daytime. Okay, he's alright. Don't you get the so, to involve you in as much of the process as possible, I'm going to have you go in here. What do you want? Oh my god. I'm going to have you go in here and look through my bag collection and pick the bag that your sweater is going to live in while I make it. Yeah, I thought you did that already. No, I haven't done that. Don't be making me work. Don't be making me work. What if it's little? What is it? <clears throat> this is hard. I bought all this? Yes, you bought all those bags. What the hell? Some were gifted to me. Some were gifted to my aunt. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, that's the thing my son was watching at one time. Um, who the myth? Monster High? Where? Right here. No, but that's Beetlejuice. Oh, crap. Oh, maybe. Look, I don't know. You got too much stuff in there. What is this? What's it say? Nah, I didn't remember. Nah, I can pick the bag that I think you would think is funny to live in, but I don't. What mood is it? I don't want to pick it. This is this Anastasia? Yes. I definitely don't want to go out of state. Girl, this thing full of stuff is all the way to the bottom. Well, I wouldn't say all the way to the bottom. The bottom part is like purses from oh, back in the, the day. Oh, hell to no. the no. <coughs> Yard sale? No, don't. Oh, my God. Why would you say that? Bang is hard. Can't you just pick? Why is it hard? Who do you folks here? They're just witches. Balls in the so the one I thought you'd pick is this purple one. Oh, is this uh? The supernatural. Yeah, DJ like this. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got cupcakes on. Do it, my equipment. Now hold on, wait a minute. How they got Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon stuff on here? I don't know, dear. That's just the fabric. It's probably like '90s nostalgia. Oh. Probably what it's called. Dark winged up. Dark winged up. Cat dog, Don't press my button, Dee <laughs> That's too late. I mean, it is, but I can make it work. No, we don't like little stuff. Okay, well, one I thought that you would think would be funny. Why would I pick this one with the flowers on? If you look really closely, <laughs> and then open the inside of the bag. All over your face, huh? <laughs> that don't make it weird. I'm sorry. What? What, son? What can I do for you, son? Your wife may my wife may be a weird. What? What do you want? Hey, boy. Hey. You don't want nothing. I figured that would be the bag if I had to choose. Yeah, use this bag. What the scoop do all of I I haven't. I feel like we've seen this bag already. Oh, okay, then yeah, if you want to get the Scooby Doo bag that I haven't used yet. There you go, see? Okay. Might as well use some stuff I paid for. <laughs> well here you go. This is our bag of the project. This is Fate's thread. It is a oh crap. What is it? it is a mix of Scooby Doo and Supernatural. Uh, sure. It's shaky. Look, Dean and and Sam are right there. Sure. 
Oh my god. Okay. I don't but this that. is the bag. So I am going to decide. Yeah, I thought they were just some characters on Scooby Doo. I'm going to decide that this is going to be the notions pouch to the hold who? the needles. Oh. A notions pouch is a thing to hold needles, progress keepers, scissors, and things that also has dicks in it. So, a little bit of you with me everywhere I go. <laughs> You're going to start calling me gay on that for television. That's what you're going to do. Okay, so that's step one. This is the intro to the video. I'm not editing anything. This is the best time ever. All right, guys, so we're back home. My husband is all patched up, but he's really sore and um, hurting a little bit. So we're just relaxing um, till we hear from grandma, see what we're gonna do. Uh, but I did get some more um, stitch markers from You Baby Beads, and I got one to go on my husband's sweater. It's Batman. That's his favorite. And then I got a, a cotton candy macaroon. Got cotton candy in the middle. And then this is something new that she is um, coming out with soon. And it looks like a regular um, butterfly. It looks like a regular butterfly, but I believe it glows in the dark. So I may have to put that on something just to show y'all. So 
I'm just going to knit a little bit. You guys are watching a movie. Our internet is out again. So the uh, guys are watching a movie with daddy because mommy was smart and during tornado season, I bought some DVDs. Excuse me, and we have a PlayStation in the playroom. So I'm going to change out some stitch markers and um, do some knitting and hopefully get to the sleeve of, uh, separate for the sleeves on my husband's sweater so we can, you know, get the ball rolling. Uh oh, I broke something. There it goes. Okay. So this actually took me 13 minutes to do. I was watching the camera on the, I was watching the time on the camera as I was recording it. 13 minutes to separate for the sleeves on a man's sweater. This thing is so heavy, but the results were amazing. So I, I'm not uh, feeling guilty for anything at this point. So here guys, I am starting the sleeve, but I did do a boo-boo. I actually grabbed the DK weight yarn instead of the fingering weight, not fingering, the worsted weight, because it's a worsted weight pattern. I grabbed the DK weight instead of the worsted weight yarn. So I actually knit like four rows 
of the sleeve and DK weight until I noticed like, oh my gosh, why is this so soft? It hasn't been this soft on my hands. And then I looked and I was like, oh, because this is Merino. It is not Peruvian Highland wool. So yeah, mistakes were made. And of course I did that on the other side too. Um, so that way it all can match. So yeah. Okay guys, Ugh. just work with me girl. My camera would be trying to do outdo me. So I wanted to talk about the sleeve. I feel like I didn't give it its dues earlier. Sorry, I'm dropping stitches. Ooh, Jesus. That one is totally dropped. Okay. Ugh. Anyway, so I got the one sleeve done. Um, I don't know why my camera's so dark right now. It's not really that dark in here. Maybe a little more to this side. That's fine. Okay, so I got the sleeve done. I tried it on me, so usually on me, my husband's sleeves kind of fall like right here or like just kind of past my arm. And that's what this was giving, like just straight past my arm. So if I try it on for you, because I know I love to make you guys anxious with the trying ons. This isn't the right side, but to save the stitches, I'll just put my arm in there. So. What I did was, I put it in, and then I kind of made sure that the shoulder was on. So it kind of looks like, like this. So, and I feel like there's still more room. Coming! So, got the sleeve done last night. 
and um, working on this one with my notes from the other one and I feel like this sleeve is already going faster than the other one I'm definitely getting to the four inches faster and then to start the stuff pay for a pattern I don't want to give you too much but I feel like it's going faster so I think I can try to finish the sleeve in maybe like a couple days because I really want to pound out the body so yeah So it is August the 22nd. Uh, so we have six days to go. So I have two sleeves. There we go. I have two sleeves. So I thought I was going to go on ahead and do the body, but I want to do well, what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the hood. I'm going to go ahead and get the hood out the way. And um, so that way, even if the. Um, the string thing isn't finished I can still present a actual finished garment on his birthday so um, I finished the sleeve at around 10 o'clock this morning because I went to sleep last night I was tired um, but finished the sleeve and I had just been working on the body since I was at my mom's house and I didn't have the um, I didn't have the yarn for the hood, but now I'm home. So I'm going to pick the hood up, work on the hood, and then then I'll go to the body. I wanna have as much yarn as possible. Um, I don't wanna have to stress about the body. And then like, oh crap, now I have to do the hood. I'm gonna go on and get the things that I, I won't say are a nuisance, but a hood is definitely interesting. Um, so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that so yes but we have two sleeves and I measure my husband's arms my husband's arms are 20 inches long so the sleeve is about 21 inches long so I gave him an extra inch kind of on the cuff so yeah as you can see using when I knit all my sweaters like I give myself a little more room than intended to because I like full-length sweaters so yeah, here we are. So, gonna get the hood popped on and get to going. Okay, so I'm reading the pattern. Can you, can you turn that down, please? Okay. Okay, thanks. So I'm reading the pattern on how to do the hood. It is extremely different than um, what I worked the hood on the boy sweater. I won't give it away because it's a paid for pattern, but that's kind of annoying that they're not worked the, the same way. Um, so I'm going to attempt to rewrite the adult hood as it is on the child's hood and um, kind of figure out what I'm going to do. So that way it's a seamless situation with the hood on everybody's sweater. So. I have a pen and paper, and I'm about to figure it out. So.
All right, guys, you're not, um, you're not, I'm your I'm eyes aren't deceiving I'm you. It is crooked. Me. You want to say hello? I did. So, um, yeah, so we got T minus five days to my husband's birthday. And I finished the hood. I did a three needle bind off, as you can see there, but it's pretty deep. Um, I've been kind of just like trying it on. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. I've just been kind of trying it on, so I'll just kind of go in. <sighs> Excuse the hair. Um, so I'll go in. And just kind of, so that's kind of what it looks like. I'm gonna attempt to kind of like um, block this uh, nipple looking situation out, but but nonetheless, we have a hood. And um, it's pretty deep, it covers the ears really well. I'm really proud of, of the rock star knitter that I was to like figure out how to knit it in one piece and not in two panels. I'm so proud of myself. So yes, this is our hood. And um, yeah, so we're gonna finish with the drawstring liney part and then work on this body. I'm confident. I'm not gonna lie, after finishing this hood today, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we are gonna have a finished sweater for his birthday. So, yeah. All right guys, so it is two days till my husband's birthday. Uh, this is Don, Donnie Don, it's my guy. Um, my best friend's son. So, in two days, this is where I am as of the 26th. So I have the hood and I even finished the, um, yeah, right, buddy? Right. Uh, I finished the hood and the jawstring band. So I have that done. And I have two sleeves. So this is where we are. So yeah, just going to keep chugging along on this so we can get it done. And I'm I'm almost to the point where I'm about to uh, mark where the, part, the pocket goes and then finish the body, so. I'm, I'm confident, I really am. So I'm, I'm just gonna be knitting my soul away at this point, so, yeah.
All right, guys, on the 29th of August, just the day after his birthday, all the knitting's done. I'm all done, gonna get him to model it and then that'll end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more knit alongs or knit togethers and all that stuff. Turn on your post notifications, it's lit. So how do you feel? Um, it's a little tight, but that's kind of how my Nike jacket is. Right. Fix on my arm, no wrist coming out. I can wear it when it's cold outside. Yeah. Oh, that's cute! Yeah, you see? I feel, I feel like this should have been... Probably, but we're here now. Here, how you gonna ask me? What? Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe you want to... <laughs> so, what? Just kind of tack them down. Okay. Okay. That's cute as fuck though. I like this. See, and I did that, and I was like, Oh god! I like it. I really, I'm, I'm scared to stretch it because, like I said, it's tight. But this would be nice in the wintertime. Yeah. No, we're gonna have to soak this thing for a couple hours. Yes, I'm gonna soak it. I know it's itchy. I know. It's wool. 100% wool. Uh, you know, imagine wool. me driving my truck. Ah! I, I hate you. All right, well, thank you for being on my podcast. Welcome to my TED Talk. Are you gonna pay me? Do I get compensated? Excuse me! Hello? <laughs> Thanks for being on there. Have a great day. Are you gonna pay me? Okay, guys. So after finishing the entire sweater, ends and all, everything sewn up, ready to go. My final thoughts on the pattern is that it is written beautifully. Um, I think the instructions are clear, very friendly for your, you know, your stripes and your things like that. Um, some of the pad project pages that I saw are kind of the same things that I was feeling like teaching someone how to carry the yarn a bit and um, not doing the hood in the two panels. If, thank God I did the mini Montrealer first, because if I didn't do that, then I definitely would have been lost on um, an alternative for the hood. Um, but other than that, it's a very beautiful pattern. Totally worth it absolutely adorable so yeah thank you so much for what i think i've said thank you like five times in this video but thank you so much for watching more let's knit a lot let's knit togethers to come and i hope you enjoyed this one so see you in the next one